Welcome back to the Make or Break shop. This week, we're gonna to try to use a laser to cut a pumpkin. So with Halloween coming up, I thought what better way to carve a pumpkin than with the 50 watt laser. This is really just an experiment to kind of see the settings. And if this is really a good option to carve out something like this, I've carved some other organic stuff in the past. So we've got some pumpkins, we're gonna throw it on the laser, uh, but first we need to get the design ready. And I got a couple things to show you guys real quick and then we'll jump into cutting. All right, so I was doing some searches for some cool pumpkins and I kept coming across this like multi-layered looks for uh, pumpkin carving. And this is actually something similar that I did for the Stranger Things light box, where it was different layers that were cut out. And then depending on how far they were from the light source was how bright they would be. So you kind of would stack it in reverse. So uh, I love the Spider-Man look and I was like, I want to do something similar. So I grabbed an image of Spider-Man. Originally it was this guy. And with some Illustrator magic and playing around with it. I've got, uh, I think, six different layers. So the idea is it's gonna build up like this. So you got the outline plus some of the, uh, the darker areas, really the webbing, next layer, next layer, next layer. And then the eyes are actually just their own layer. I might try to cut these out. It's just this right here. Um, so it goes all the way through, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So now that we've got all of those layers, I'm going to import them into Lightburn, and that is the SVG. And one thing I'm gonna be doing, these aren't gonna be cut out, so these are going to be a fill, and uh, I'll show what that looks like, uh, but it's basically going to be a raster uh, across the entire image. All right, so now that I have all of the artwork done, I was able to take the uh, DXF, so we're gonna be doing engraving instead of cutting. But before we do that, we need to play around with some of the settings and see what it looks like when you actually cut a pumpkin. All right, so this is at 15% speed, 20 power. So we've got this off the laser and you can see burnt pumpkin. But what I'm gonna to try to do is actually can wipe off. So you're gonna get something kind of like that. You can either vary the power or the speed. So what I'm gonna do is actually put in some more tests and uh, we're gonna try to get so we can get good six layers going through it. But this is actually a good kind of first layer. All right. Ugh. I'm gonna try to get as much of this black crap out. This one, two, three, four. Those are looking pretty good, but once I get deeper, it might be a little bit too deep. And now we are going to load up Spider-Man and start engraving the real thing. So we just pulled this out of the laser and we're gonna see if we can get all this black stuff off to see if this is gonna work. And it's a little bit hard to not break it as I'm trying to clean it. So after looking at this a little bit more, what I'm thinking is, I definitely wanted to do multiple layers and I messed that up, so I fixed that. But instead of just doing different powers for the different layers, I'm gonna do the same power and then just cut it in layers going down. Hopefully, that should make the settings on the laser a lot better, uh, a lot more consistent. So I have the same distance between each of the layers. And since I messed this one up, we actually need to grab another pumpkin. So let's do that really quick. So we're at Kroger. About to get some pumpkins. All right, we're gonna get some of those pumpkins right there. And what we're looking for are some smaller ones, kind of like this. We're probably gonna get a couple of them, and maybe this guy. This is hard to do with one hand. I need to some deodorant. So the first layer is done. Now we got four more to go. We did the pumpkin and it wound up being about five different layers. And what I'm finding is this is actually not very deep for what we're gonna need to do. I forgot how deep pumpkins were. So if I get the top off, you can see that wall is a good inch thick, if not more. 
And at the max, this is probably only going down maybe a third of the inch. So I actually need to cut this a lot deeper. But to kind of give you an idea of what this looks like, I'm gonna put a box around it so we can kind of get a feel. So you can kind of see, oh, well, I got pumpkin all over my phone. So you can kind of see how it's working. There's a lot of this black stuff that I'm not able to get off. I'm thinking that the multi-layer designs probably aren't gonna be the best bet for doing something like this. And really you just need to have one, maybe two layers, especially if one of the layers is going all the way through. We're gonna cut another one out of a different design and give that one a shot. I wanted to try a couple more pumpkins and this one, hopefully it's going to be Yoda. And it is actually pretty deep, the thickness going inside of here. And then I also did one of the Death Star, which is about half the depth of this. So we can actually see what this is going to look like. I need to carve it out really quick and get all this stuff out so we can get a candle or a light inside. So I wound up carving four total pumpkins. This one actually did another design right there of Spider-Man that was just the outline, but it didn't turn out that well. So overall, can you carve a pumpkin with a laser? You definitely can. You can pretty much carve a lot of stuff with a laser. Anything that's organic it is a lot of fun, like leaves and all that kind of stuff. What I'm thinking is for Halloween, these two are really the ones uh, that wound up being the best. Actually, I think the Death Star looks pretty cool even with the char marks um, during the day. Then especially at night, this Yoda, uh, which was cut twice the depth of this, um, that one's gonna show up really well at night. The rest of these, when I tried to do multiple layers, this I actually cut out now probably three or four days ago, um, and it's already starting to kind of decompose and the detail starting to lose because it didn't go in far enough. So overall, the laser did a pretty good job. You could carve all the way through a pumpkin if you wanted to. I love using this 50 watt laser. I did a quick overview of it. You guys can check it out right there and I'll see you there in just one second. So until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.